Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what is this keyword in Java with example. Then we are going to focus on some basic interview questions about this keyword. Okay. So let's get started. We know that Java is an object oriented programming language and due to its object oriented nature, all code we have to write inside a class and class contain lots of things such as variables, methods, constructors, blocks, and so on. And to establish communication between them, Java creators introduce some words which has specific meaning and functionality are nothing but the keywords. And there are more than 50 keywords are available in Java. One of those is this keyword that we are going to discuss in this tutorial. Okay. So this keyword is a predefined or reserved keyword that Java provides us to represent current object. So basically, this keyword is a reference variable which refers or point to the current class object. Suppose if I create object of test class. Okay, so here test is our current class and t is a reference variable which point or refer to test class object. That is here the job of t is to refer current object. Similarly, this keyword also a reference variable which refer to current class object. And job of this keyword is also same to refer current object. So what does it mean exactly? Let's understand through an example. So for that, we will need to create one class here and it's suppose test class. Okay. And nothing is going to declare inside a class directly going to create an object of test class inside main method. So here I have create object of test class and here test is our current class, right? And T is a reference variable which is pointing or referring to the test class object. So let's check it out. Does it really refers to current class object or not? So let's print here reference variable T. And now let's run the code. Let's see. So you can see here this is class name and it's a test which is present in com.esg package. And this is a hash code. It can call it unique ID. So this ID is of test class object that JVM provide to every object after creation so it's proved that t is pointing to test class object or current class object now let's check it out for this keyword does this also refer to current class object or not because as i said before this also a reference variable which refer to current class object right so let's check it out okay so just print here this keyword inside print ln method okay but if I write like this, then compiler will raise an error because this keyword only work for non-static members because this keyword belong to an object and members belong to an object are considered as a non-static members and members belong to a class considered as a static members. So basically this keyword is non-static member and hence we can use this keyword inside non-static methods only and here main is a static method right and hence we cannot use here this keyword so let's create non-static method that is normal method and it's suppose m1 method and now let's print here this keyword okay and call here m1 method using test class object okay so the output of this println method and output of this println method should be same because both reference variable t and the reference variable this are pointing to the same test class object that is current class object okay so let's run the code you can see here both the outputs are same it means both t and this keyword are pointing or referring to same current class object that is to test class object so it's clearly show that this is a reference variable which refer to current class object clear now let's focus on some basic interview questions on this keyword so first question is what is this keyword this is a basic question right then you can simply say this is a reference variable that refers to the current object but this same question interviewer can ask in a different way to get you confused they can ask what is this keyword used in Java? Then you can simply say this keyword in Java is used to refer the current instance or current object of the class. The answer of both the questions are same, but the way of asking is different. 
सो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज एट ऑल एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज इज इट पॉसिबल टू असाइन रेफरेंस टू दिस इट मीन्स कैन वी असाइन न्यू वैल्यू टू दिस सो आंसर इज नो वी कैन नॉट असाइन एनी वैल्यू टू दिस बिकॉज इट्स ऑलवेज पॉइंट टू करंट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वैल्यू ऑफ इट इज फाइनल इन जावा इफ वी ट्राई टू चेंज और असाइन न्यू वैल्यू टू दिस देन कंपाइलर विल रेज एन एरर लेट्स चेक इट आउट इफ आई राइट हियर दिस इक्वल्स टू न्यू टेस्ट ओके सो हियर आई हैव क्रिएट अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ टेस्ट क्लास यूजिंग new keyword okay and assign to this now let's run the code let's check it out you can see here compiler raise an error and the error is the left hand side of an assignment must be variable so basically this variable is implicitly or by default final we cannot change value of this so always keep in mind we cannot reassign value of this in java clear that's all so this is just introduction about this keyword in the next tutorial i will explain what problems developer had to face without this keyword and then i will explain what are the uses of this keyword okay so for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching